Welcome. If you happen to be new to this channel, my name is Ivan. On this channel, I started documenting my process of breeding a group of guppies with the goal to hopefully solidify a line that consistently produces a solid white guppy. I am intentionally challenging myself to start with a group of guppies that all look different. None of them share any particular characteristic. I have just a single male that has that solid white phenotype that I'm after. He is going to be the foundation of this entire project and deserves a proper name at this point. I named him Gandalf and I think that suits him rather well. I'm excited to share the results of my latest cross with Gandalf, uh, but let's start with a brief recap first. In the previous video, I introduced my initial group of fish and the results of crossing females one and two with Gandalf. With the help of a Punnett square like this one, we were able to predict the potential outcomes from crossing females one and two with Gandalf. And I focused specifically on their base body color. By understanding these patterns, we learned that both females were homozygous for that gray based body color that they have. And this is a very dominant trait. Gandalf actually has a blonde based body color. And this isn't obvious right away. But if we look at his mouth and the top of his head, it's actually not gray like our other two females. This trait is recessive. And it's the only one that Gandalf could pass down to his offspring. This will become relevant when we begin selecting heterozygous females for gray base body color that they have and back crossing them to Gandalf. This time, I paired Gandalf with female three of my original four. She is my only blonde based female that I have. Like Gandalf, she could only pass down this particular trait, which means that any offspring between Gandalf and female three will produce fry that are all blonde based. If we do a quick Punnett square analysis, it will also confirm this. I also want to note that female three has a splash of yellow as well. And this became more prominent as she became older. All right, so let's check out the fry. Just like we predicted, all of the fry are blonde based. And she dropped a total of 48 fry, 21 of which were female and 27 male, making it a 44 to 56% split. Now, because there were so many of them, it made watching them grow and develop colors super fun. Let's first talk about the adult females. They matured with a little bit of golden yellow accents, which I'm thinking they inherited from their mother. They also have hints of red on their tails and peduncle, and some of them actually have it uh, on their dorsals as well. They lacked any patterning on their tails, which is quite different from the females that resulted in crossing Gandalf with females one and two. These are really pretty females in my opinion, and I'm eager to see if back crossing some of these females with Gandalf will finally produce that white female type that I'm after. With their shared blonde based body color, I think the odds might be in our favor. Alrighty, let's take a look at the males now. These males look amazing. All of them sport an almost pink hue on the backs of their bodies but they also have solid red tails and dorsal fins. Some of them even have a little bit of orange on the fringes of their fins. This is now the third cross where Gandalf produced sons that have red tails. This is entirely unexpected, and this might suggest that Gandalf has some strong genes for this trait, even though he doesn't have any red of his own. This is a little bit confusing to me, but I hope this puzzle becomes a little bit clearer uh, with some future crossings. Overall, this cross has a lot of good looking guppies, but it didn't produce any of the solid white phenotype that we are after. I think achieving this will involve a number of back crosses that I will begin in a different series of videos. In the meantime, I am nearing the end of discussing the results of the offspring from my original four females. In the next video, I'll be sharing the final results from female four, before starting on my first sets of back crosses. So if this is something that you find as interesting as I do, please consider sticking around and I'll see you in the next video.